Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to the Insurance Apprentice 2022, a contest where over 50 insurance professionals risk it all in their hopeful claims to be crowned this year's ambassador of the short-term insurance industry. I'm your host, Simon Coleman from SHA, and can you believe it? This is the eighth season of our show, where contestants, said to be the most promising professionals from different businesses in the country, battle it out for the ultimate honor. They'll undergo a series of grueling tasks and challenges in order to prove they have what it takes to be the insurance apprentice of 2022. So what does it take to become the insurance apprentice, you may be wondering? Well, this prestigious role demands someone who has mastered the nuances of the insurance industry, someone that can boldly promote innovative insurance solutions to contemporary problems amongst a whole host of other challenges. Before we kick the season off, I'd like to give a special mention to Old Mutual Insure, who have once again sponsored our incredible virtual studio. It also looks like they've flooded us with hungry contestants this year too. This episode is brought to you by Aon, a global professional firm providing a range of risk, reinsurance, retirement and health solutions. Now this episode will test our contestants' general insurance knowledge and some specifics on the history and the services that Aon offers. Right, so let's get to it. It's time to welcome this week's contestants. Welcome guys, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Simon. I see a lot of nervous faces, some confident looking faces. Stephanie, you're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed this morning. Where are you calling from? Um, I'm calling from the office, so I'm at RDS. In, in, in Cape Town? Yes, I am. Ah, well done. Uh, Elia. Yes, yeah, Simon. Welcome to the Insurance Apprentice 2022. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, where do you work, Elia? I'm working for Bright Insurance Company. You had to think about that for a few seconds. Were you not sure or is this a new job you've just taken on in the last 30 seconds? Nah, I've, I've just been there for quite some time right now. Caught, yeah, so. caught out. <laughs> Who else have we got here? Wayne? Yes, sir. Wayne, this is not your first time entering the Insurance Apprentice. Probably the first time we're seeing you on camera though. Correct, yes. Okay, how many times before? Uh, I think I think I've entered three times. Okay, well, well done making it to the finals. Now, for many of you, like Wayne, this must feel like deja vu, because in this episode alone, we've got four contestants from previous seasons who have re-entered. And I have to ask myself, because I know what people say about me, why do you do this to yourselves? Why would you enter this competition more than once. Priya, I'm looking at you. Priya, how many I'm times? I'm hoping you pick me. So this is my third time and every single time I enter, it feels like the first time. Um, it's just an amazing platform to be part of. And I love the fact that it's a platform aimed at young individuals to change this the perception of Priya, this industry. sounds like your winning speech that you're delivering prematurely at the beginning of the season. Shall I save this for later? In, in it to <laughs> win it. Where do you work, Priya? I'm currently working for Santa. Okay. Well, welcome to the show again. Let's, uh, I'll tell you what, let's take a look at something I think we've prepared from your last visit to the show. And the fastest response was Priya. Uh, I think you're on mute. And whilst we know your family would probably appreciate muting you in real life, we do actually need you to be heard on the show. Priya, you have seven correct answers. At this point, Priya and Tabojo progressing to the next round. And congratulations to our top two, to Fiona and Taffy for making it into the top 10. Unfortunately, to the rest of you, it is the end of the road. Your policy is void and your claim to the title of insurance apprentice has been excluded. It is time to say goodbye.
So Priya, that uh, last time didn't go so well. You started off well and then just kind of petered off. Um, so this is your third time. Um, just chatting to the director, is it possible to give Priya a prize for attendance? No, sorry Priya, you're going to have to try and win this the hard way. Anyway, welcome back and good luck to you. Right, contestants, viewers, now that we've all come to the party, let me explain to you how the first four episodes will work. We have two rounds of challenges lined up. All 14 contestants will participate in the first challenge. However, only five contestants will be scraping through to round two. And you may be wondering what will happen to the rest of the contestants. Well, they will see their dreams of becoming the next insurance apprentice go up in flames like a tobacco warehouse next to a factory on Guy Fawkes during water restrictions. By the end of each episode, only the top three contestants will advance to the next stage of the competition. Sounds tough, right? Well, that's because it is. But on a more exciting note, let's take a look at what this year's Insurance Apprentice will be taking home. This year's winner will walk away with a package prize worth 70,000 Rand from Lloyds of London, 20,000 Rand in cash prizes from Tracker and the Invoya Institute of Learning, and access to a coveted Leadership Development Masterclass from Peyton Personnel. They will also receive an all-new iPad Air from Genesis, a professional photo shoot from ARG, as well as a personalized hamper from Santam. And lastly, the Insurance Institute of South Africa is sponsoring the winner's conference fee to attend the African Insurance Exchange Conference, taking place virtually and live at Sun City in July. Right, uh, those prizes sound unbelievable. I'm sure all of you would not mind taking those home with you. Um, I just, uh, Nolosindiso. I noticed something quite interesting. I was looking through some of the notes you supplied during your application uh, and you said that your hobby was um, sleeping. Is, is that something that you're very good at? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm very, I'm very like good. A... I, I take it. <laughs> yes. No, I don't know that that's quite the skill that we're looking for in the insurance apprentice, but uh, maybe it'll come in useful. All right, let's the games begin. It's time for Rapid Risk. In Rapid Risk, our contestants will be asked 10 multiple choice questions. For every correct answer, they'll be awarded six points, which will move them up the leaderboard. The first person to answer correctly scores an additional four bonus points. The five contestants with the highest scores at the end of the game will advance into the next round, whilst the rest will see their possibility of winning sink to the depths of the ocean, like an old rust bucket tanker in a raging cyclone. Who writes this stuff? Anyway, as you know, we have some contestants who just won't give up their dreams of becoming the insurance apprentice. Let's chat to Matthew. Welcome back. Thank you, Simon. Um, How many yes, times? It's my first time this year, fourth. so I'm um, been fourth time, yeah. I think you might be running out of years. Aren't you nearing that sort of upper threshold now? Not quite. Not quite. I started at the age of 21 in the industry, so I still got about six years to go. Well, you could be the only person alive to compete in every season of The Insurance Apprentice since it started. <laughs> Let's take a look at your journey in the last season. Matthew, I see you're there. This is definitely not your first time on the show. Yes, Simon, thank you very much. It's my third time, so I'm hoping it's going to be third time lucky. And the fastest response in that round was Matthew. Well done, Matthew. Um, you've dropped down right out of the top five now. Um, no response was captured in the last one. What happened there? Yeah. Same, same story, Simon. I think I'm just paying too much attention to trying to get the answer correct instead of just going with my first instinct. Yeah, your nerves are going to be the end of you. And your claim to the insurance apprentice is rejected. Goodbye. Matthew, that, that went horribly wrong. You were doing so well. You were like 
nailing every game and then suddenly it just kind of fell apart. Looking at that video from last year, you appear to be sitting in exactly the same location, in the same shirt, the same jacket, the same chair. Um, have you really been there for 12 months? Uh, yes, I That's have. commitment. I saw, the, I saw the, the, the jacket looks exactly the same. Um, it's a different shirt though. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> we'll take your word for it. Anyway, good luck to you for the season. Right, contestants, are you ready? Yes, yes, we're ready. Yes, we are. Yes, yes, we are. yes ready. God, that was so weak. Contestants, are you ready? Yes, 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 we, are. yes we are. Yes, yes we are ready. All right, here we go. Your first question. Question one, what is Aon's global proposition? Is it A, Aon is in the business of better decisions? B, at Aon we fix problems? C, good, better business? Or D, Aon is about you? Only one of those answers is correct. And the correct answer, of course, was A, Aon is in the business of better decisions. There were five correct answers, so just half of the field got that right. And Priya, our veteran, straight out of the starting blocks to the top of the leaderboard. Well done, Priya. Thank you, Simon. That strategy is already paying off. Right, and question two. What is the name of Aon's product to the SME market? Is it the Aon SME solution? Or B, SMME market solution? C, Aon business complete? Or D, big business brains? Get that answer in and your time is up. The correct answer, of course, being C, Aon business complete. And there were five correct answers that round. And once again, Priya. Priya, um, are you going to let anybody else have a go at this? Not really. Let, let's, give, let, let's see how it goes. Charity begins <laughs> at home, right? That's true. All right, good luck. Come on, guys. We can't let Priya get away with this. I'd like to see some others on the leaderboard here. All right, next question. Within how many days must an FSP advise the authority of changes to the rep register? Is it A, 30 days, B, 15 days, C, one day, or D, five days? Only one answer is correct. Lock it in. The correct answer, of course, being B, 15 days. And there were only three correct answers in that round. It cannot be. Priya, once again, fastest finger first. I guess that time is lucky you're making, after all. You're making this look way too easy and way too difficult for everyone else. No lo sindiso. You, you're, yes. make, you're making yourself known here, but perhaps not for the right reasons. You suggested one day. <laughs> You're assuming a lot more efficiency than most insurers and brokers are capable of. Was that just a yeah, wild that guess? Is, that was a guess. Okay. Guessing only works if you get it right. All right, next question. An FSP can appoint a rep if they don't meet all the competency requirements stipulated by phase, provided they work A, under strict guidance, B, under a representative with two years experience, or C, under supervision, or D, whilst completing their qualification. Get your answers in and your time is up. The correct answer, of course, being C, under supervision. And there were 10 correct answers that round, almost everybody getting it correct. But the fastest correct answer was Catuccello. Well done, Catuccello. Nice to see you getting onto that leaderboard. Thank you, Simon. You're feeling confident? Uh, I am. You know, it's not so bad when lots of people get the question wrong, but when only one or two people get it wrong, you do kind of stick out. Elia and David, um, you were the only two to get that question wrong. <laughs> what yeah, happened there? Ish, okay. No. We'll, we'll try to fix that quickly, quickly, just quickly, quickly. You'll roll with it. David, you're still looking super nervous. Don't let your nerves get the better of you. I realized later that I chose the wrong question and I'm trying to tap into the right one, but it was too late. <laughs> excuses, to excuses, best. David. 
A poor workman always blames his tools. Have you heard that? No, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Don't be that guy. All right, next question. Which type of cover does the Ombud for short-term insurance not deal with as stated on the OSTI website? Is it A, homeowners, B, marine, C, motor, or D, all risks? The correct answer, of course, being B, marine. And uh, yeah, just under half the field got that correct. Six correct answers. Fastest correct answer, Wayne. Congratulations, Wayne. What do you do for a living, Wayne? I work for a brokerage as an insurance broker. Which one? You've got a time to punt product here. <laughs> I'm course Insurance Enterprises. We're based in Nigel and we also... Okay, okay, not too much of a sales pitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, well done, Wayne. Uh, that answer actually sees you moving into second place. So even though you've not had fastest finger first, you're sitting right there just behind Priya uh, on the leaderboard, followed by Abdul Katuchelo in fourth place. And then we've got a lot of people fighting for that fifth place um, role. We got Nolusindiso, Nolutando, Stephanie, Ayanda, Razan, and Matthew all tied in fifth place. It's anybody's game at this stage. Right, your next question. Who are the four insurers on the panel for Aon Business Select? That's ABS. Is it A, Suntam, Hollard, Bright, AIG? B, Suntam, Hollard, Bright, and Allianz? C, Suntam, Hollard, Bright, and OMI? Or D, Suntam, Hollard, Bright, and Renasa. Get those answers in. The correct answer, of course, being C, Suntam, Hollard, Bright, and OMI. Seven correct answers that round. But the fastest was Catuccello again. Hey, I have to try. Where do you work? I work for Old Mutual Show. And what do you do there? I do our corporate claims. You do corporate claims? Like fires and business interruption, that sort of thing? Yes. Okay. Well, good luck to you in the rest of the competition. All right, your next question. When you are unable to offer a product appropriate to the objectives and a risk profile of the client, what must you do? Is it A, tell the client and decline to recommend a product? B, create a unique product for them. C, advise the client to seek advice from another FSP. Or is it D, a combo of A and C? Your time is up. The correct answer was D, a combination of A and C. And there were eight correct answers that round. And Priya, shooting back to the top of the leaderboard. Well done, Priya. Those years of experience entering this competition are looking good for you. I think so too. Priya, where do you work again? I currently work for Suntam. Oh yes, you're at Suntam. And what do you do there? I'm in the non-motor desktop uh, assessor division. Okay, that sounds like a very long title or long division. You must have a two-page business card, right? No, no, we've summed it down to one. <laughs> okay. At Suntam, we believe in simplifying. All right, excellent. Razan, we haven't yes. spoken much. In that last round, everyone else put in an answer except you. I was too slow. You were too slow. Where do you work, Razan? I work for Santa Insurance. Okay, it says here in your application that you had a job selling Levi jeans, is that right? Or packing Levi jeans? Yes. Folding jeans? Yes, that's 100% correct. Okay, well, let's hope you don't need to return to that career. <laughs> hope so too. <laughs> Remember, you have to actually press the button to get an answer on the board. All right, moving on. Next question. According to Aon's 2021 Global Risk Management Survey, what percentage of millennials are interested in pursuing jobs in insurance? Is it A, 87%, B, 4%, C, 10%, or D, 15%? And the correct answer that round, of course, was B, 4%, but only two of you got it correct. The fastest correct answer, Wayne. Wayne, shooting back up to the top of that leaderboard. Well done, Wayne. It says here that you like, is it boxing? 
as a hobby? Yes, I do. Okay, guys, so if Wayne doesn't win, let's not tell him where we live. Matthew, let's have a chat. You think that 87% of millennials would like to work in insurance? Yeah, I was hoping that would be the, the answer. Does this have a lucky guess? Well, a guess, but not lucky. So, yeah. <laughs> unlucky guess. 87% of millennials. Uh, I don't know many millennials that actually say they would like to work in insurance. Clearly not, only 4%. <laughs> <laughs> the 4% that are on this call. Abdul, I see yes, you're, having a, you're having a good chuckle there at uh, Matthew's response, but you also chose 87%. 87. <laughs> <laughs> if only that were true, maybe we can use this show to make it a possibility. Anyway, next question. Which of the following would generally be an exclusion in an insurance policy? Is it A, malicious damage, B, accidental damage, C, forced entry, or D, intentional damage? Only one answer is correct. And the correct answer, of course, being D, intentional damage, as I would expect most of you got that answer correct, but the fastest correct answer once again, Wayne, you're, you're applying that boxing endurance training to take this. Yes, sir. Well, let's hope it's a knockout for you. Priya, there were, there were four options to choose from, which would imply A, B, C, and D. Which option did you go for? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Simon. I went for option F. <laughs> um. <laughs> You went for option F out of an option out of four possibilities. Finger error, but yeah, I went for option F. I think there's some <laughs> holes in your strategy here, Priya. I need to regroup <laughs> and come back. Yeah. <laughs> Don't just read the question, read the options, guys. All right, so as things stand, in first place with 54 points is Wayne, second Priya, third Katuchelo. In fourth place, Abdul. And then quite a way behind there, we've got three people tied in fifth place, all on 30 points. That fifth place, still very much up for grabs. Guys, you're gonna need that fastest finger first to pull ahead of the rest in that pack. All right, your 10th and final question. Which support services do Aon's reinsurance teams provide to the market? Is it A, treaty, facultative, and analytical support? B, sell captive, financial management and treaty support? C, customizable and risk market solutions? Or D, financial support? Only one correct answer, which was A, treaty, facultative, and analytical support. And the fastest correct answer was Priya. Priya putting in a fight right up until the end there. Well done, Priya. Thank you. Not choosing option F that time. Stephanie, in that last question, you chose financial support as one of the services that Aon provide. I'm sure lots of their clients would appreciate that, but not necessarily a viable business proposition. That was a pretty tough round. You were in the running in that fifth spot. Let's take a look at the final scores. In first place with 60 points, we have Wayne. In second, with 56 points, Priya. Third, at 50 points, Katuchelo. In fourth place, Abdul. And in fifth place, with 36 points and beating Stephanie and Matthew into that top five position, is Nolo Sindiso. Well done to our top five. To the rest of you, your ability to win this contest has been seriously hampered by an abundance of nerves or ineptitude. Either way, you are leaving us now. Goodbye. Right, congratulations to our top five. Now, before we get into the second challenge, let's take a quick break. Life moves forward to the beat of decisions. At Aeon, we see a world increasingly impacted by the choices we make. 
That's why we shape decisions that protect and grow communities so we can all achieve our full potential. Our job is to provide clarity and confidence to every Aon client, making them better informed, better advised and able to make better decisions for whatever the world needs next. Aon is in the business of better decisions. And welcome back. We have our five contenders eager and ready to move one step closer to becoming the insurance apprentice. Now let me remind you that after this challenge, only three of you will be moving on to the next round of the competition. Uh, Wayne, you put in a strong showing there in the second half of that, of that first round. Uh, I see you, you put on your application, you're an executive manager. How many people do you manage? Uh, 10. 10 people. Are they all executives? Because <laughs> you're the executive <laughs> manager, like right? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's what, the, it's what it says on my base lip. <laughs> I go with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Priya, your role is a desktop assessor. I mean, how many desktops do you have to assess before you become professional? With Santam, way too many. <laughs> I think maybe one every minute. Okay. Well, well done. You actually flew up through the ranks there uh, during that competition. Just want to remind you, and this is to all of you, that there isn't really any time to catch up. You have one shot at this as we go into the next round. And so, without further ado, it's time for the write-off. Now in the write-off, I will ask each of our contestants 15 unique questions to further test their insurance knowledge. Each contestant will have two minutes to answer as many questions as they can. If they don't know the answer, they can pass and move on to the next question, but they will forfeit those points. Only the top three scorers will advance to the next stage of the competition, and for the remaining two contestants, they will see their aspirations of becoming the next insurance apprentice disappear faster than the load off of a beer truck at an accident scene on the freeway on New Year's Eve. Up first, we have Wayne. Wayne, are you ready? Yes, sir, let's go. Your time starts now. Name two of the three broad range of services Aon offers. Boss. True or false, Aon's motor-only policy, underwritten by Suntum, is called by design. False. That is correct. Next question. True or false, if an FSP is authorized to sell two different product categories, that automatically allows them to sell any other category thereafter. False. That is correct. What are the risks of non-compliance to an FSP license? Fines, uh, license withdrawal or suspension. That is correct. Who should take note of any amendments in the Phase General Code of Conduct? Any financial services provider such as a broker or an intermediary. That is correct. True or false, one of the objectives of Old Mutual Insurer's education flagship project is to build strong leadership capabilities in schools. True. That is correct. What is the theft extension limit under the theft section of Aon's Business Select product offering? Theft of data. That is incorrect. In what year was Aon South Africa and Aon Reinsurance certified as a top employer South Africa? 2021. That is correct. What is the consequence of not adding VAT in a business interruption sum insured value? Being underinsured. That is correct. What is the most common form of payment for insurance premiums? Monthly or yearly debit orders. That is correct. What is the purpose of reinsurance? You take some of the risk and pass it on if you don't have an appetite for all of it. Uh, we'll have to come back to you on that one. Yes or no, iWise is a broker portal. Sorry, time is up. All right, Wayne, we've had feedback from our ombud. The question about reinsurance has been granted in your favor, which gives you a grand total of nine points. 
Let's hope that's enough to take you through. All right, next contestant, Priya. You ready, Priya? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, your time starts now. In what year was Aeon founded? 1849. That is incorrect. True or false, Aeon's pinion range of products is exclusive to Investec and Nedbank private wealth clients. False. That is correct. True or false, an FSP selling multiple products is allowed to incentivize advisors for promoting a specific product. False. Correct. An insurance policy is a contract between which two parties? The insurer and the insured. Correct. Under which class would damage or loss to crops or livestock be covered? Farming. Uh, we, Agri agriculture. That is correct. Agri True or false? Sungita Supasad is Old Mutual's human capital executive. True. That is correct. Who is the underwriter for Aeon's Pinion Classic product? Phantom. That is correct. Give two examples of cover provided by Aeon under their sport, recreation and entertainment insurance offering. Pass. What is the maximum penalty under the Phase Act for gross negligence and dishonesty? 15 years imprisonment or a fine of a higher value. That is incorrect. What is Lloyds of London? Reinsurer. Uh, we'll have to get back to you on that. Next question. Name two factors which could mitigate the risk of loss by theft on household contents. Alarm system, security gates. That is correct. Yes or no, can OMI's corporate travel offering only be bought as a group scheme policy? True. Yes. That is correct. When the value of the property is greater than the sum insured at the time of loss, what will be applied? Average. So you were out of time there. You got through 13 questions. All right, Priya, unfortunately, the Ombud ruled against you in the Lloyds question. Lloyds is an insurance market, not a reinsurer. But you still managed to achieve eight, so that puts you in second place. Our next victim, I mean uh, competitor, is Catuccello. Yes, let's do this. Catuccello, are you ready? Yes, I am. All right, your time starts now. On which stock exchange is Aeon a listed company? New York Stock Exchange. That is correct. True or false, Aeon is a product supplier? That is incorrect. True or false, the FASE General Code of Conduct stipulates that any potential conflicts of interest are mitigated. True. That is correct. There are five main groups that make up Lloyds of London. Name one. Pass. True or false, Old Mutual turns 177 in 2022. True. That is correct. What is Aeon's core business? Insurance broking. Uh, that's not the answer I have. We'll have to come back to you on that. Under which broking solution of Aeon does a flight training school fall? Aviation. That is correct. What is the principle in insurance that requires the insured be returned to the same financial position that they were in prior to the loss? Indemnity. That is correct. UBI, which is usage-based insurance, is often powered by which telecommunication device? A smartphone. That is incorrect. How is an excess usually settled following a claim? It's deducted from the paid settlement amount. That is correct. Yes or no, OMI's web-based portal for brokers is called MyOMInsure. Yes. That is correct. Name one factor which could mitigate the risk of loss by lightning damage. Uh, lightning conductors that and uh, having power surge. True or false, Aeon has offices in Egypt. False. That is incorrect. Under which class of insurance would damage or loss resulting from the use of heavy machinery be covered? A plant or risk. Your time is up, unfortunately. Right, Catuccello, that was uh, an impressive round. Uh, the question that we had to put to the Ombud related to Aeon's core services, the answer that was provided by the sponsor, 
was providing risk solutions, you answered insurance brokers and the, and the Ombud has ruled in your favor, that takes your score to nine, which puts you level with Wayne and firmly in the top three. All right, up next, we've got Abdul. Abdul, are you ready? Uh, not really <laughs> after seeing the, the, the previous contestants, but... Abdul, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> That's a maybe. All right. Yeah, I'm ready, sir. Okay. Your time starts now. Name one of Aon's bespoke business insurance solutions. Commercial, insure, commercial insurance, agriculture insurance. Pass. True or false, Aon is an acronym for all or none. False. That is correct. True or false, in insurance, the past loss experience of a client is not indicative of the future loss experience. This is due to the COVID-19 pandemic. True. That is incorrect. Under which specialist insurance would damage or loss resulting from the possession and use of a drone be covered? Uh, aviation. That is correct. The allocation of a loss between different insurers on a property or item is called? Pass. True or false, Old Mutual's head office is based in Johannesburg? True. That is incorrect. Name one sporting tour Aon sponsors globally. Soccer. That is incorrect. How many bursary students does Aon sponsor to study? 200. That is incorrect. What does section four of the general code of conduct deal with? Advice. That is incorrect. Name two factors which could mitigate the risk of loss by theft of a parked vehicle. Um, immobilizer, alarm system. That is correct. Which minister does the insurance industry report to? Finance minister. That is correct. Yes or no, the name of Old Mutual Insurance Cell Captive Offering is Mutual and Federal Ooh. Risk Financing yes. Limited. That is correct. How would an insurer approach... All right, you're out of time. Whew. How do you think that I went? I think the old mutual, the, the old mutual one in, is based in Johannesburg, Simon. Old Mutual's head office is actually in Pinelands in Cape Town. Oh, old mutual, not old mutual insure. Yeah, I think the question was old mutual. Abdul, unfortunately, uh, that was a fairly dismal round um, and only scores you five, um, which means you are not in the top three. And at this stage, looks like you will not be moving forward. All right, and last but not least, Nolu Sindiso. Yes. You're, you're, you're at Howden's and you're a reinsurance broker, but I was interested to see that you had a passion for teaching. Yes. How do those two things yeah. kind of intersect with each other? I just love um, working with people and sharing knowledge. So that's <laughs> why I'm teaching. But I've learned in the insurance industry, you don't have to be in a classroom. You can always, there's a lot to learn and there's a lot to share. So, yeah. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Your time starts now. By staying true to their values, Aon is committed, united and... Passionate. That is correct. True or false, Aon is an insurer? False. That is correct. True or false, the client may explicitly ask the provider to, provide, to focus on a specific product and not to focus on others? True. That is correct. What is transferred between insurer and insured by excess? Risk, um, risk and um, cash. Yeah, to allow... Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, pass. I cannot accept that. True or false? Any marketing communication of a financial product offered on behalf of the FSP should be approved. True. That is correct. True or false? Old Mutual Insure only operates in one other African country, namely Botswana. False. That is correct. How many global offices does Aon have? 500. That is correct. What is Alicia Khorsen's role at Aon? C, C, O, O. 
that is incorrect. What is the standard grace period for payment of insurance premiums? 30 days. That is incorrect. What is the usual relationship between voluntary excess and premium? Um, the more you have higher excess, the less, less more premium. So if you, if you pay more premium, then your excess will be lower. That is correct. What does salvage mean? Salvage is um, when you pay back. So salvage is when you pay after a claim, you in a mortal claim, you pay back. Sorry, time is up. Okay, pass. <laughs> your time is up. Nolo Sindiso, what happened with the you you were, you slipped into teacher mode a few times there? I was, I was expecting the school bell to go while you were giving your answer. Sorry. <laughs> it, it shows the passion always prevails. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Each answer was like a TED talk. <laughs> no, listen, Diso, you didn't do badly. It was a respectable seven, which unfortunately, because we had two tied with nine, does not put you into the top three but not a bad score. All right, well, congratulations to Wayne, Priya, and Katuchelo. Unfortunately, Abdul, Nolusindiso, I'm afraid your participation in this contest has been canceled faster than a debit order on a fake funeral policy. Goodbye. All right, so congratulations, guys feels much better now you guys are looking at you're looking a little dead there Katuchelo, i see a little bit of chuckling there <laughs> yes sir <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, this is uh for me it's only the beginning i think so it's too soon to get excited okay priya i must say simon um I was on the edge the whole time because last season I got knocked off by Fiona. She went on to win it. But I was on the edge the whole time and I'm like, is it my time? Oh, you, well, you pulled it off. Wayne, I mean, but you, you and Priya have entered the competition before. Did you think you'd be sitting here right now in the, in the top, Wayne? I was really hoping to, but yeah, it's, it's quite a nerve-wracking experience. Okay, well, congratulations to all of you. So you're now in the running to become the winner of the Insurance Apprentice 2022. And we'll see you again in the top 12. Right, that seals the business of the day. Many thanks are of course in order to Aon, our episode sponsor, and Old Mutual Insure, our official studio sponsor. And finally, thank you all for tuning in. Before I let you go, you should know that if you follow the season of the Insurance Apprentice right through to the end, you stand a chance to win your share of some amazing cash prize giveaways. It's simple. Be sure to like our page and share each episode on Facebook and answer the weekly question. This week's question is, how many times has Matthew Carter entered the Insurance Apprentice? Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stand a chance to win. While you're there, let us know who you think is most likely to be crowned the Insurance Apprentice of 2022. So it's a new season, new challenges, new personalities, and of course, new possibilities, and you don't want to miss it. Be sure to tune in again, same time, same place, next week. Until then, goodbye.